Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, we're at Android Central Live, SDC 13. We've got a couple more people to talk to. Of course, you can tell by the shirts, we have guys from Challenge Post here, Brandon and Brian, if I recall correctly. So you guys are uh, partnering up with Samsung. You're running uh, the happy hour event tonight. What exactly is Challenge Post? Kind of give us the, the quick overview for somebody who hasn't heard of you guys. Sure, Challenge Post is a website, challengepost.com. And on that, you'll find software competitions from companies like Samsung and a bunch of other companies and government agencies and right. even other developers. And they're challenging software developers to build software and show off their software. So just any software developer can say, you know, go to challengepost.com. They can look at the open challenges and just get in on it. They don't have to have any kind of affiliation or anything like that? Nope. Almost all the challenges we've ever powered are free. Okay. And not only do you get exposure for your software, and you get to keep all the intellectual property, um, but if you win, you also get additional prizes and discovery and business deals and all kinds of other cool stuff, uh, including challenges we powered with Samsung. Right, right. So somebody like Samsung will say, okay, we you know, have X service we want to put up, or we you know, want people to integrate with you know, this API. Um, what kind of prizes are they you know, putting out there? It's, it's all over the map. Uh, so we, to go back a step, so we do two different things, right? We do in-person hackathons, which are okay. like one to three days, sort of build a prototype and have some fun, and then longer online challenges that are going to usually have much bigger prizes because they're targeting right. higher level app development. Right, and that'll be like whole uh, groups of people working together for a, a single goal? Yeah, or to build a single app or a product. Okay. Right, 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 and the right. prizes, uh, to your question, the, you, there could be hundreds of thousands of dollars in cash prizes. Wow, okay. Um, but also um, other kinds of prizes, like getting exposure, getting to meet people. So for example, today we're here at the SDC 13. Mm -hmm. uh, the big keynote, they had this company up called Movil, M-O-V-L. They entered our first challenge with Samsung to build apps on their smart TVs. Right, which we saw a whole lot about that in the, in the keynote. Yeah, and they, and they won. And then the second year, Samsung asked them to provide their tools to others who would enter. And then this year, Samsung bought them. So that's okay. a good example of something right, so out of the money. Maybe it's not just that short-term goal of you know, winning you know, $100,000 or something would be fantastic, but you know, being picked up as an employee or you know, per having your, your company purchased is obviously you know, infinitely more valuable, of course. Yeah. Right. So you guys, of course, you work with somebody like Samsung. You know, uh, I'm assuming you guys work all the way down to uh, a lower level group that's just you know, looking for something simple or trying to bring on some lower level people? Yes, we do lots of college hackathons where okay. it's about getting people together to have fun and learn new skills and make friends that could potentially be business partners. Right. Um, lots of it's cause based, more about organizations. So like Michelle Obama's Let's Move initiative did apps for healthy kids to help kids better manage their nutrition and exercise more. And okay, so it, so it could be you know any kind of cause. So maybe if you're even if you're not interested in the uh, in the prize or something, you just want to develop something that could help somebody else or you know go towards you know something that you're really interested in. Sure. Yeah, and you can drink a lot of beer too. Right. So college hackathons. Exactly. That's college they, they, hackathons have to include alcohol. We check of ID. Everyone's 21. Everyone's of course. 21. For 72 hours. Oh, yes, of course. At all the college hackathons. Sure. Right. And if you're going to be up for hours and hours on end, you know, I mean, maybe you want to start it off with some beer and maybe trail off after that. So do you guys, with your hackathons, are these like three days straight, people aren't sleeping, they're like drinking Red Bulls and eating cookies or something? Is that kind of, kind you know, of that's what they, you think of when you think hackathon, right? Pretty, pretty much right. But they, you know, they also get good eight to 10 hours sleep, wouldn't you say, at the same time, probably? And, Some, not and in the, It's pretty okay. well taken care of and responsible. They spend more time hacking and less time sleeping, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I, there's a lot of like glory over this, like spend right. three days up, build the best thing, but it's probably not the yeah. most productive. There's lawyers in the room, so People I just want to be careful. Sleep. Oh, we, right. we encourage, yeah, yeah. We encourage yeah. sleeping. Yeah. Exactly, and it's, you know, hey, they're doing it under their own own power, right? So sure. that, that's all about, I'm sure you guys see that once you provide an incentive for something, then all of a sudden people have direction, you know, it's not just saying build something, it's saying we kind of want you to do this sort of thing. So. How, how directed is it? Can, it? can it be kind of wide, like build us something that has to do with you know, a fitness app, or is it gonna be you know, integrate with this exact API? How, how do uh, the people determine that? Yeah, so um, I can tell you about a very specific one. Sure. Um, the FTC, you ever got a robocall? Somebody calls you, a legal robocall? All the time. This is really annoying, right? Yeah. So the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission said, we wanna stop these, we wanna block illegal robocalls, so create software to do it. 
and they did. And the winner, a single developer in New York, um, just published his software. He was all over the press. Today show, right. like 160,000 downloads in one day. And that's a very specific problem that got stopped through a challenge, but then there's also really open-ended ones. I don't know, what do, you, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, so slightly more open-ended, we've done apps to help teachers better manage their classrooms with nursing okay, schools, sure. and maybe we'll give a few different problem statements. Like, you could tackle it one of these 10 ways right. and sort of provide some inspiration or a company like Evernote, where it's a note-taking app, mm -hmm. and it's sort of the best use of their platform, and there's a super wide range, and we leave it way Right, of course. If you give somebody the tools to integrate with something like Evernote, it's, you know, they kind of want to see the, like, sky's the limit kind of side of things, right? Right. Yeah. right, right. You could organize all of your beers in Evernote and then <laughs> exactly. export them through an API. Yeah, a list of upcoming hackathons or something like that. Brandon's Absolutely. very thirsty. It's very yeah, thirsty. that's right. Well, did you know we're actually throwing a, a happy you, hour? You did mention that. <laughs> Five o'clock. I think they're actually all probably there right now drinking without us, but that's okay. Right. We're, so we're, anybody that's watching watching, watching live that doesn't happen to be, you know, they could be watching live from the happy hour, you know, right. could by be. chance. But, it, but if they're here, where do they go uh, to get in on that? A couple doors down. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Georgian room? I hope that's right. Exactly. I all think right, the Georgian, Georgian room sounds yeah, about right. Yeah. Sounds good. Well, yeah. we'll let you guys go get yeah. on to that and, uh, you know, go partake in some beers and, cool. uh, you know, talk to the developers. But in all cool. seriousness, uh, any developers that are watching, anybody out there um, who's interested in making something that solves a problem or getting exposure for their software, wants to make an impact and get discovered, um, check out challengepost.com when you get a chance and we hope that you participate. All right, fantastic. Thank Brandon. You. Brian, it's great to talk to you Thanks, guys. Man. Thanks, Yep. All right, we'll be coming back uh, with more interesting people, more interviews at SDC 13.